Good morning. Today I wanted to share with you my latest um, mini album. And it's it's definitely a mini. It's six by six, but it's quite um, large. This is the top, and I haven't embellished it um, as much as I normally do because this is going inside a box that I am creating to match the album, and um, the box is just about this tall, so if I embellish it too much, it won't fit inside the box. So um, on the top here, I have used um, some Recollection, uh, Petaloo, um, Wild Orchid Craft Flowers, and this just slides out so that um, a photograph can be installed in the frame. Um, the frame I got at Michael's, it was um, a different color. I painted it black and then I used um, black um, and gold embossing powders on it to give it texture and add some dimension. Uh, just a pretty pink ribbon and a recollection butterfly here on the front. The paper collection that I've used throughout is by Teresa Collins and um, I'm really loving her papers. So um, this is her one of her wedding collections. Now um, the binding is a real pretty, It's I know it's really hard to show you here, but it's a real pretty trim that I get at um, Hobby Lobby. And there's the back, same paper as the front. So let's start with the, the first page. And this is just a fold over page. And there's some, um, you know, there's a little corner pocket there and there's some tags that come out. Um, some Petaloo flowers. And these lace flowers behind I got off of eBay from a seller. I couldn't tell you who, I apologize. Um, this tag right here is from the paper collection. And um, real nice that it comes with those special um, tags that match the collection. So um, this flower here I won um, from some challenge I did. They sent me three and this one I just thought went real pretty with this particular page. Okay, this is an engagement album so um, I wanted to use the ring of course. This is from the paper collection. Uh, real pretty black trim here and this opens up gatefold um, style. Um, more papers from the paper collection and this is also from the paper collection. True love stories never have endings. So, um, and just to go backwards just a little bit, this is a um, an envelope album so each page has its own um, large pull-out tag. So I'm not going to pull all of those out for you but each page has that. All right, this page here, um, this center piece is from the paper collection. I just cut it in half and used it to kind of tuck away this pullout um, that can be used for, for photos or journaling. And, and they're the same um, on each side. So this pulls out and opens up. Now, this and this are not from the paper collection. Um, I never have enough because I like to add so many different elements um, from the paper collection, so I have to kind of mix in a few additional ones. These are real pretty flowers, I mean butterflies, excuse me, that I got from uh, Michael's in their dollar uh, bin and um, really liked those, so I picked those up. These are Primas. And then um, these uh, frosted flowers are Petaloo, and then some Wild Orchid Craft flowers there. The next page is a crisscross gatefold style. Um, I left this open for a photo. It says congratulations, uh, more Petaloo and Wild Orchid Craft flowers. And this also is not from the paper collection, um, this uh, embossed paper but also thought it matched really well. So um, I've used a well 
Well, that didn't work out very well. I'm going to have to fix that. This opens up like that. And, you know, obviously a photo there. Um, there's a pull-out tag back here from a different um, little collection that I had for a wedding. So happy for you. And I thought it also um, kind of fit this whole theme for this um, engagement album. Okay, here I used a, um, a die from Spellbinders. I bought this a while back, and this is the first time I've used it. I put it on top of um, vellum so that you could see through it, and I just tucked a couple of, of tags in there, and I used some real pretty um, lace and uh, black velvet trim there, and, of course, more uh, recollection and wild orchid craft flowers. This page um, is just a pocket page, and what I've done is I had these um, chipboard cutouts, painted them black, embossed them with black embossing powder, and there's actually a little flower underneath these flowers in the chipboard, and I just decided I'd cover them with um, prettier pink flowers. So I've tucked in some more tags here. This is also from the paper collection. So there's that. Now this page, and this is the middle of the album, so there's a little more space here. So um, this is my accordion um, pocket, and I've used Velcro. This opens up, and this accordion pocket pops out, and I have put tags in each one of these pockets so that the, um, the gal who is engaged can have um, lots of room to store all her photos and information. Um, I've decorated this. This is from the paper collection as well. I've used a braided black trim here and added the flowers to match. So I'm going to lay this back down. Um, this page is kind of a half pocket page. There's a place to tuck some things in in this pocket. Um, this is a frame from the paper collection and more um, pink flowers. Um, this page, this is always my favorite page. This is the waterfall page. And it opens up like that for photos or journaling or whatever. Um, but everybody just loves the waterfall page. All right, obviously another tag here. Then um, these two pages are, um, I well, I've used more flowers from that um, recollection pack that I got. Um, more flowers. These, this tag um, just kind of tucks underneath here. And this tag also tucks underneath here. This is a, a trim I picked up at Michael's. And um, then this opens up for more photos as well as, as this. So another pull out tag back here. And these are the last two pages. Another pocket page, a real pretty cream colored trim and a, um, a key with a crown on it that I picked up at Michael's as well. Um, inside this pocket is a little pull-out envelope, and it's got a couple of little, it's hard for me, I can't pull them out, but they're pull-out tags for more journaling. And then this is an envelope that came with the paper collection, and this is the card that comes in it. And basically, it's for lots of journaling. You could even put some small photos there. Well, not even small. It's, a, it's a, probably a, 
the 4x5 card. But that um, tucks right back in that pocket there. And this is the last page. And I thought Happily Ever After, which is from the paper collection, was very appropriate. Uh, another butterfly from the recollection pack that I got. And this just opens up for um, another photo and photo here. Now, this is a clear sentiment. It says, my heart shall beat because of you, my eyes see because of you, my mind thinks because of you, and I shall love because of you. So, I thought that was very appropriate. Um, another pull-out tag here, and the back of the album. So, quite a bit going on in this little 6x6. Six six. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope I've inspired you. And I'm going to come back, um, hopefully tomorrow, and show you the box that... Um, um, when I finish it that matches this album so you can see the whole uh, project together. So um, everybody, I hope you have a great day. I hope you're having an awesome summer and I wish you all a happy scrapping.